after Alexander the Great died in 323 BC, there were multiple sources telling different stories as to who the leadership of a massive Macedonian empire he had carved should fall to. In the end, it was split into four different kingdoms and empires. One of them was the Seleucid Empire, which existed from 312 BC to 63 BC, which, at its peak, stretched from Anatolia to parts of modern-day Turkmenistan to modern-day Israel. At the time of the revolt, King Antiochus IV was the ruler of the empire. During his reign, he cracked down hard on the Jews, their religion, and their culture. It's unknown why he was so against the Jews, but it was likely because he had once mistaken a coup in the Jews' leadership or priesthood as a rebellion against him. He was also likely he also likely had the same hate for the Jews that other evil men such as Hitler and Stalin had after him. Jewish customs were prohibited. Jerusalem was placed under direct control of the Seleucids, and the second temple in Jerusalem was being used as the site for a Jewish pagan cult. This obviously stirred up resentment among the people, and eventually, in 167 BC, a revolt was started by one of the Jewish priests, Metaphias. He refused to worship the Greek idols, and when a Jew who embraced, embraced the Greek way set up to do it in his place, he killed him, along with the Greek officer in charge of the sacrifices. After this, he and his five sons fled to the mountains. After Metaphias died, in 166 BC, Judah Maccabee, his son, was left in charge of a group of Jewish rebels that would rise up into an army. While at first they were unable to hurt their Seleucid Empire directly, they used indirect tactics, such as raiding the countryside, destroying pagan altars, circumcising Jewish boys, and attacking the Hellenized Jews, or forcing them to join in the revolt. Hellenized Jews were Jews who collaborated with the Greeks and were very similar to the French collaborators who collaborated with the Nazis during the French occupation during World War II. Judah's nickname, Maccabee, is derived from the Jewish word, Hammer. Eventually, his small force grew in size, and they were able to lead a full-scale revolt against the Greeks. After defeating two minor Seleucid forces at the Battle of Maele, Leverna, in 167 BC, and the Battle of Beharon, in 166 BC, and a more major victory at the Battle of Emanus in 165 BC, they attempted to compromise with the Greeks, but this failed. So, the Seleucids sent a larger force to crush the revolt. But after being defeated at the Battle of Bethzer in 164 BC, and with news of the Seleucid king's death in Persia, the army returned to Syria. The Seleucids then decided to lift the Jewish ban which started to bring the Jewish collaborators back to their side. The Maccabean army, though, decided this wasn't enough, because they wanted to break from Greek influence completely. So, they took back the city of Jerusalem and multiple other cities. This caused a separation between them and the less radical Jews. Now controlling a number of cities, they were forced to fight open battles instead of guerrilla warfare. After more fighting between the Jews, the collaborators, and the Greeks, they came to a cautious peace agreement that really did nothing. Judah was able to secure alliance with Rome, though. After a civil war, the Seleucids were led by King Demetrius I. While he was engaged in another civil war, his general, Bacchides, who was in charge of the western part of the empire, led an army of 20,000 infantrymen and 2,000 cavalry into Judah, Judea to crush the Maccabeans. This forced Judah and his men into a fight that would be Judah's last. After being trapped by the Seleucids during the Battle of Alessa in 160 BC, Judah and most of his men were slain in the final last stand. Judah's longer, younger brother Jonathan eventually became the leader and organized a ceasefire with the Seleucids. The Seleucids fought another series of civil wars and the Maccabeans took advantage of this to once again revolt. After getting more and more rights from the Seleucids, they would finally become free in 142 BC.